I think that uh, while we are committed to take care or to help take care of the humanitarian uh, difficulties in the uh, Gaza Strip, we also have to make sure that when we take care of those uh, concerns, we don't do things that are going to uh, uh, be counterproductive when it comes to security concerns of Israel. And what we see today is that uh, the cement that is uh, brought in is being used for uh, building new tunnels that would enable Hamas to carry out attacks against Israelis. Uh, and that uh, again and again all kinds of weapons are being found in the uh, uh, merchandise that's coming into, uh, into Gaza. Uh, for example, uh, diving suits and uh, detonators and all kinds of stuff. So we know that Hamas is taking advantage of this uh, attitude of Israel to enable the incoming of uh, all kinds of products in order to arm itself again. We should be very careful. And on top of that, what we should be concerned with is that uh, Hamas continues to, to train the population in all kinds of uh, camps and uh, activities and to educate them to hate Israel and the hatred to Israel in the uh, Gaza Strip according to all kinds of uh, public opinion polls, is uh, skyrocketing. Now, when we hear today uh, from the uh, commander, the southern command of IDF, that throughout the past operations, the intention was not to destroy the Hamas, was not to uh, ruin, to, to topple the uh, leadership of Hamas. So what should be the, the, the goals of the operations against the terror in the south? I think that the goals should be, and they, they have been, to weaken Hamas um, uh, terror and military capabilities as much as can, uh, can be done without uh, depriving them from the capability to serve as the uh, guy who's the, the element who's in responsibility of the situation in, in the Gaza Strip and uh, in that way to make them capable of controlling the other uh, elements in the Gaza Strip who are even uh, more radical than Hamas. So the other options are just worse? Right now, the other options are worse, and that's uh, the, the, the option of holding Hamas in power is just because every other op uh, option is even worse. It's either chaos or uh, the turning Hamas into the hands of radical, ex extreme radical Islam, or that we ourselves will get into Gaza and uh, take control of Gaza, and we don't want any of these. Another thing we heard about today is the influence from uh, the uh, Hamas in Gaza to what goes on in Judea and Samaria. Yeah, Hamas is always, Hamas considers itself the, the main representative of the Palestinian people. And in such, it wants to uh, be in control of all the areas where you have Palestinians, be it in uh, the West Bank, like in Judea and Samaria, be it in uh, Gaza, be it in the diaspora, and the Palestinian diaspora. They want to be in control. And uh, as such, they are trying as much as they can to uh, form some presence in the uh, Judea and Samaria areas in order to be able to uh, threaten the capability of uh, Abu Mazen and the Palestinian Authority to, to stay in power. The residents are suffering. Sorry? The Arab residents are suffering. They're not exactly for every uh, single uh, the activity. The Arab residents are suffering from everybody that is politically oriented in the Palestinian Authority because all of them want to bring them into an everlasting confrontation with Israel, corruption and all kinds of problems. None of them really care about the well-being of the Palestinians. That's the last thing on their agenda.